All right, hello YouTube. <clears throat> Thanks for joining our Twitch stream in progress. Uh, me is here in chat. I have a few silent viewers as well. Hello, silent viewers. Love you guys too. Don't think Mia gets all the love. <clears throat> so thanks for choosing to spend some time here with uh, with me and Cassandra. Um, so inventory is cleared out. Uh, I don't think I have any ability points. Ability points <laughs> that are unspent. Confirmed. Zero. Uh, let's double check our quests. I think we just wrapped up the last side quest that was new that we got. Yep. Um, <laughs> Mia wants all the love. <clears throat> Come on, chat. Give Mia some love. Since I'm busy playing. Uh, Alright. So, let's see. I guess... Yeah, we have only this quest to do. <laughs> this is it. Unless there's a side quest somewhere. Uh, oh, well. Would you look at that? No. <laughs> Barely had I spoken the words. Um, Alright. Uh, obviously we're doing side quests first. Looks like we have three. And I'm trying to... Skim the rest of the map to you. Uh... <laughs> okay, there's that one. Okay... All right, no, still, still been pretty thorough so far. So okay, we only have these that just opened up, I guess. <coughs> so that's good. These were definitely not here before these quests. So uh, okay, okay, calling you early today. Okay, I gotta decide if I want to keep tracking the main quest because that might confuse me if I'm not paying close attention. <laughs> I'll take a chance for now. How's it going, Becky? I <clears throat> hope you enjoyed your day off. I did. It's It was a little overdue. <laughs> Honestly, I've been looking for a decent excuse to take a, <clears throat> a day off from streaming for a week or two. I was just... I was really into Assassin's Creed and Lunar, but uh, yesterday I felt appropriate for a break. <laughs> Magistrate Xanthi told me that you've been having trouble with your farm. Crops yeah, I, fr I forgot I hadn't run around and grabbed the side quests yet. The earth. How are the crops failing? Blight. Few plants grow, and the ones that do are wilted and covered in spots. The gods would never let this happen if they were happy. It's my godless Elotes, I tell you. You're a messenger of Zeus. You show them the light. I'll find out what's happening. Oh, thank Zeus. My Elotes, Tefta and Maron. They work the fields, but they do not respect the gods. Teach them. Man, we had a crazy session on Sunday. The first Assassin's Creed session, because we had two separate ones on Sunday. Uh, man, that first one was crazy. I'll go talk with your Ilotes and see what they know. I... Uh, I mean, I, re I really appreciated the game surprising me. <laughs> with the whole uh, underwater temple thing. If uh, if you're there to see it, then you know what I mean. <clears throat> I just don't want to, I don't know, spoil it, I guess. For anyone who cares, but... Man, that was crazy. I can't believe Cassandra met... She's still alive when... What? <laughs> Your master claims this blight is the will of the gods. What do you think? Sometimes crops fail. Could be dry soil, could be insects. It's a shame about the donkey. He was more crucial to the farm's success than the master. Or you, for that matter. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Are you suggesting I should be working here? Well, obviously I'm picking this. You're looking for a fight, Elot. You're going about it the right way. Come on, then. Everyone's looking for an excuse to beat an elo. So you want to be beat? What a weird... What weird reasoning. You've proved your worth as a Spartan. You hit hard. Something upstream is making the water taste like a rusty blade. Water? I'll have to take a look.
Anyway, that was, uh... That was the coolest, like, story thing that happened so far in this game. By far. Mold to death. May your journey across the sticks be a more peaceful end than this. Debris might be getting stuck in this net. Maybe the dead man was a fisherman. Knife wounds of a man. I'll bet it's the metal from the armor giving the water a bad taste. Oh, look at look at Cassandra. Now that's thinking. In the in this day and age. You know, it might also just be the dead body, just you know, rotting in the water, too. I'm sure that probably has something to do with the weird taste. Oh man, a bear. <laughs> I said as if I was actually worried. Oh, do I have to drop them <coughs> over here specifically? If so, whoops. Yeah. Ah, that smell is going to linger on me. At least the river runs clear now. Yeah, you're welcome. Come on, guys. <clears throat> we need scientists. Bella. New people who observe <laughs> things <laughs> and react to them appropriately. But the crops haven't been producing this season. Laniki expects more crops every year. The soil needs to rest. So there could be nothing else causing crop shortage? I didn't say that. Oh, she wants to fight too. I asked you a question, Elot. I don't have all day. I'm going to teach you to respect your elders, Mistios. I'm going to teach you that they have to earn it first. Ha! You call that a fight? You barely winded me. I just need to sit down. Tell me what you know. Uh, when I was a girl, the farm I lived on suffered a blight. My master burned everything. The plants, the diseased animals. Must have been quite the smell. <laughs> quite the offering to the gods. The ashes fed the soil, and the next year, the stocks were higher than ever before. I hope you're right. Hey, Jordan. <clears throat> yes, I absolutely fight. I, any chance I get. Whenever it's an option in the dialogue. Absolutely. I wonder anything grows in this field with all this mess crushing the plants. The tanners in Kefalonia use something that smells awful to make leather. It can't be good for the soil. The earth is stained here. That can't be good for the soil. It seems like fire is the only way to make sure of ending this blight. Is uh. Wait, where are the contaminated crops? Is it like silos? <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I guess it's not silos. Maybe it's just this stuff right in front of me. I don't really know. Like, what's this? 
I don't know what to burn. Burn the contaminated crops. Where where are the contaminated crops? I was kind of spacing out when she was talking, so if she if she said it, I, I missed it. Maybe it's over here with these guys. I don't know. Uh, doesn't look like they have crops. Hang on. <laughs> okay, what did I miss? Let's see if reading the quest helps. Uh, I don't know, farming the fertile valley. We need to investigate the blight. So we're, we're still on the farm then, I guess, but I don't know what I'm... Oh, hey, a marker. So it should be right around here. Is there a... Let's see. Is it just like... Is it the stuff on the ground? Like, what's... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, she said the same thing I did. Shit. Was that... It? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, clearly not. Those, I mean, uh, crops. Oh, hey, this is where the, this is where I just was. It's still showing up here. An objective marker up here. Um, I, I mean, are these crops? This or this grass? <laughs> I mean, there are neat rows and stuff, so hang on, let's look for silos over here. Uh, <laughs> right, Mia? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have, like, a plane to help me with that. That would be nice. That would be really convenient, you know? Huh. Burn. Jordan, what am I burning? Is it over in the space? Hmm. You throw a torch on the ground, you'll probably have to repeat it several times in order to... I'm just looking it up. <laughs> you'll probably have to repeat it several times in order to burn everything. Okay, great. <laughs> I see, it's just wherever, like, this hay shit is. Oh, there's there's little yellow arrows now. Okay, tell those weren't there before. Am I crazy? Those were not there. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I didn't see any marker except when I ran too far away. I said go back here. The diseased crops have been burned, and the river is cleared. That should be the last of the blight. Oh, you truly are God sent. What was the cause of their rot? <clears throat> oh, by the way, I learned how to use uh, chat points or community points, whatever it's called. Uh, but I have to start streaming from my browser through Twitch, which I think is what most people do anyway. Actually, <laughs> uh, I think I'm the weird one for using the Twitch app. Um, there's definitely more functionality in streaming from the website. I could do polls and stuff a lot more easily there, too. But, hey, anyone have an opinion? Should I blame her, her Helot's fault? Or, for, well, should I say they're at fault, or should I blame her? <laughs> hmm, I kind of want to blame her, because, uh, I don't know. I feel like being a dick. Hmm. So, I guess I'll do that. <laughs> you were so busy looking to the sky that you ignored what was in front of you. The gods are not responsible for cleaning the fields or the river. That's on you. What? You dare? 
Xanthi says you are an agent of Zeus, but you are a false champion as godless as my Ilotes. Get out from here! The poison in your fields is nothing compared to the poison in your heart. Ooh, ouch. Burn that bridge. Okay, next. <laughs> uh, Alright, so that's the main story mission. Well, let's uh, continue with the side quests. Two left. Thanks, Mia. I appreciate your support. Beckett! Back, back, back it. Just ignore her. Zeus will recognize her soon enough. Excuse me? <clears throat> I was I was about to leave. But I think I heard you say something. Just ignore her. Zeus will recognize his mistake in choosing a champion soon enough. Hey, get back here. Ooh, bitch. <clears throat> ah, that was, that was satisfying. Vamos, let's go. She didn't have any more quests for me anyway, so who cares? <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time killing you, dude. At first I thought she was running for a weapon, but then she kept running. I was like, okay, I guess I have to use my bow and arrow. Sorry guys, Becky's too fast for you. Oh no, we're approaching a city. We've slowed down. No! Or a populated area, anyway. I don't know if this qualifies as a city. <laughs> Probably not. Just a settlement. Happen to be the eagle bearer, would you? Me? Yes, I am. Oh, you, you sound flattered, Cassandra. <laughs> your hair must have been woven by Athena. Your body is like a sculpture made by the masters, and your arms look so okay. strong. Okay. Why doesn't everyone greet me this way? Strong enough to. Strong enough to. Strong enough to carry this basket to my husband, Calibos. Oh, right. The magistrate mentioned you. You know, even if it was just lip service, It'll be easy to I still appreciate it, and I'm so happy much. to do this quest for you. Let me know if you need anything. I'll help with your delivery. Seriously? <sighs> I have to run 500 meters, well, more than that, because I have to go around. All right. <sighs> We're running on foot, folks. We can we can jump with this, right? Oh no. There's no no shortcuts here. We have to follow the path. Oh, 
Wow. You know, that la I, I appreciate that lady and her, her method. <laughs> I, I can't... I can't be upset. <laughs> if every quest giver started by talking to me that way... I mean... All right, I'm going to leave auto run going for a while since uh, I can pretty much go in a straight line from here for a while. Day is breaking. Listen, if every quest giver started out talking to me that way, <clears throat> I'd be happy to do anything for any of them. The ego, ego boost is real, you know? But, when they don't talk to me like that, or give me money, then I get to complain about them. Alright, let's stop tracking that behind us. The end is in sight. Damn, Cassandra, I can imagine what this uh, <coughs> would be like to carry. I, I can, like, imagine the, w the weight of this thing. Amistios? Well met. What brings you to our camp? You are Calibos? Your wife sent me to deliver this package. I think it might be some kind of offering. Zefxo is a good woman. She's gifted me with a basket fit for Dionysos. Earthly pleasures? She made it sound like it was a case of life and death. A deathly hangover, maybe. Boys, we're having a good night. Care to join us, friend? Oh, hell yeah. I never say no to good wine and good company. I expected no less from you. Dude, Cassandra doesn't get to just <coughs> let loose and relax enough. She needed this. Could someone pass the water skin? Could someone pass my head? I think I left it farther down the beach. <laughs> this is the after effect of the mushrooms. I remember the chicken coop. I remember the farmer's field. I do not remember building a Trojan horse. <laughs> uh, it, it was just here when I woke up. I to the gods for safe passage across the sea. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Oh, that's that's funny. <laughs> oh, that got me. Oh, damn. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, let's fight. <laughs> I'm always down for a good fight. <laughs> Archers first. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow, no one lives except this guy. Wow, you guys suck. Everyone, everyone who had a good night last night just died, basically. I mean, hey, at least they had a good last night. You know? <laughs> Wait, oh, Calibos didn't die because he's invincible. Because he has the quest. Helen of Troy. I once boasted to a friend that I was a better tactician than Odysseus himself. Today I was proven wrong. You live to fight another day. Learn from this. I'm grabbing some water, so uh, if this ends before I'm back, that's why I'm not moving. I don't know if I should thank her or curse her. I think there is nothing else to do here, <clears throat> so on to the next side quest. fast travel there first. <laughs> hmm. Interestingly, my YouTube is channel has started to pick up at a slightly faster rate than in the past. Fun fact, trying to kill some time while, while we stare at the uh, eternal flame here. Um, I've gotten seven subscribers, or five, what are they called on YouTube? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever they are. But I've gotten seven within the last month, which is much higher than usual for me. That actually constitutes almost 20% of my current followers on YouTube. So... I think some are interested in Lunar, actually. Those get some traction on YouTube. Lunar and Lunar 2. I even got some comments on them versus other videos, which don't get any comments. Just a fun fact. Something that Twitch viewers might not pay attention to. It's my YouTube, I don't know. And now people who are uh, watching this on YouTube can feel acknowledged. <laughs> I actually had a decent amount of views on uh, videos from this game, too. Um, it's it's a it's a bit up and down. Bit of a mixed bag, but some, uh, some sessions of this game do get views. They won't ask any questions. So, I, I don't know if it's because it's a more recent game. Probably. I bet I might get even more views uh, when we do Valhalla next. But 
Thanks, Mia. And then hopefully after Valhalla we can just roll right into Mirage. And finally, for the first time since Assassin's Creed 3 for me, it would be an it would, it would be a game I was playing as soon as it came out in the Assassin's Creed series. Assassin's Creed 3 was the last one I played as soon as it came out. For the record, I also played Brotherhood, <coughs> Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood and Assassin's Creed 2 Revelations as soon as they came out as well. I did that with three Assassin's Creed games in a row. <laughs> it was worth it with the Ezio games. I don't know if it was worth it with three, because I ended up not actually playing that for a while after I started it. <laughs> what, playing through the whole series, via? I don't know, it depends how long Valhalla takes. And Mirage. I have no idea how long those are. No one knows how long Mirage is, because it's not out yet. Valhalla is pretty long, though. It's, it's apparently on par with uh, Origins and Odyssey, <clears throat> so you can expect a similar game length in the next Assassin's Creed series. So it'll probably take me at least three or four months to get through Valhalla at the rate I tend to go. <clears throat> so it'll, it'll be a few months of entertainment. I'm not sure when Mirage is coming out. I think it's coming out this year. But I don't know when. So I might have pretty good timing, unintentionally. Who would have known? Starting from Assassin's Creed, <laughs> like, 1. Well, I mean, we started with 2 and then went back to 1. But we still played them all. <laughs> Who would have known I picked a gr such a good time to start them all? <laughs> where, uh, where I would be able to finish Valhalla and roll right into Mirage. Conveniently. Like, what are the chances? There's uh there's more than there's has to be more than a dozen games I I don't know in a series at this point right <coughs> let's count one two two Brotherhood two Revelations I'm not gonna count the extra ones like Liberation and Freedom Cry um, three four Black Flag Unity Rogue Syndicate Origins <coughs> Odyssey, Valhalla. That's that is twelve actually. <laughs> Damn. So if you if you count the uh, Liberation and Freedom Cry as like half games, I don't know. I guess you could say there's like thirteen. Or, I don't know. Oh yeah, definitely Vikings involved. Yeah, so uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it because you tend to like any kind of new, like, historical setting. <clears throat> so, I'm sure it'll be fun. Well, you may learn a lot, then, from Valhalla. I mean, I will, too. Like, I, I feel the same as you. I don't know a whole lot about Viking history, so I feel like I'll probably learn a lot. I don't know why I killed all those guys. But I hope you enjoyed watching me do that. <laughs> Apparently I could have ignored them and just gone here. You are the eagle bearer. Wonderful. Magistrate Xanthi has spoken highly of you. Very kind of her. So here's the thing. My children have promising futures. But they refuse to learn and study. They think they know better. But they can't recite a poem to save their lives. Where do I fit into this? They've heard of the Eagle Bearer and worship the ground you walk on. If you related an epic story to them, 
I bet they retain it and impress their tutors. It's a odd request, but uh, I've been asked to do stranger things. I'll do it. My children are waiting inside the temple of the Onisus Colonatas for today's epic story. The subject is Perseus, which they should know well, but seem to forget all when questioned. I know the story well, of course, but my preferred version may not be what your children expect. Do not fear. If you need a reminder, there are many relics related to Perseus in the hall adjacent to the temple of the Honest. Oh Colonatus. no, I'm not. I'm not studying anything, <clears throat> lady. I'm just gonna tell the story however I feel like telling it. <clears throat> this could be fun. What's already enough, Mia? Yes, that's me. And yes, I'm telling you a story. <laughs> I'm not gonna say listen well to the epic tale of person. Gather round and listen, children, while I spin you the yarn of Perseus. Uh... All right, let's not talk about golden showers. Great god of the sea, Poseidon, visited a mortal woman, Sarah, a fisherman's daughter. The god of the sea frolicked with her in the shape of a dolphin, and she knew his love. Ugh. Is this a kissing story? Relax, I'm just setting it up. Soon, Sarah gave birth to a child, the half-blood hero, Perseus. I thought Perseus' mother's name was the Nile, like my sister. Yeah, and his father was Zeus. Uh, well, that's true in some versions. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, kids start walking away. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, whatever, we're committed. Zeus and his mother, Danai, were rescued on the island of Seriphus. And Perseus grew up under the care of a kindly fisherman, Thictis. Lucky them! Did the gods help? Maybe. Perseus learned to swim and ride and fight, and how to be good and just, even though his father was only a fisherman. I can do all those things too! Good for you. Except swim. Or be just. Hush! Now, Victor's brother was the ruler of the island, but he was not a good man. He's scum! When Perseus grows up, he travels to Iope and falls in love at first sight with the beautiful princess Andromeda. However, Andromeda's mother boasts that her daughter is more beautiful than the goddess Thetis, offending her. Never say you are better than the gods. Thetis proclaims that Andromeda must be sacrificed to the gods, or else the whole city of Iope will be destroyed. I don't think that's right. Wasn't Adromeda an Ethiopian princess? Hush! Perseus asks his grandmother, Tala, how to save his love. <laughs> she turns Apparently the kid realized that, Mia. ...and says to save Andromeda, he must bring back curly hair of gold, fit for the king of the mountains, who yet owns less than the humblest elot. I don't know that riddle. It's too hard! Oh. Uh, did I, pick the, did I pick the wrong thing again? <laughs> he figured it out. How? He just did his own. I don't know. All right. Perseus figured out what he needed. The golden fleece of the winged dragon. I don't think this is the right choice. Said to be guarded by a monster who could turn any to stone. Luckily. Perseus was blessed by the gods, and he was guided by Athena's golden-geared owl to the monster's lair. Athena's golden owl? That's dumb. Sounds cute. I want one. And armed with the vorpal sword from mighty Olethros, he faced 
The snake-necked, large-headed, shaggy-maned, stony-gazed Kartovlebas! No! No! Lopping off the creature's head. Ew! He grabbed the golden fleece and wrapped the Katovlepas's head in it. Then flew back home astride winged Pegasus to save Andromeda, who was about to be eaten by the Kraken. He used the deadly head to turn the Kraken to stone. Wait! The what? What's a Kraken? Uh, like a giant squid? Don't you mean the sea monster Ketos? <laughs> Pretty sure Homer said, release the Kraken, not release the Ketos. You just made that up. Hey. Damn, how many choices are there? Perseus traveled to Argos with his family, and one day competed in the great athletic games. He hurled the discus, and his throw was so great that it shot into the stands and struck King Acrisios. So doing, Perseus killed his grandfather and fulfilled the prophecy. Hurrah! You can't escape your fate. In the end, Perseus and Andromeda settled in Mykine as king and queen, and had seven sons and two daughters, the Perseide. Wow, that was so wrong and so boring. <laughs> you are Damn. a sticky storyteller, and that story was poop. Oh, you guys are so interested. Though from what I heard, it did sound like you deviated somewhat from the traditional tale. Uh, yeah, but mine was better. Apologies. <laughs> Who cares? I still got the XP. Uh, I don't see dead pixels on my laptop, Jordan, so I would refresh the stream if I were you. <clears throat> gotcha. <laughs> I didn't notice. Why am I running? Should I just teleport again? Nah, not at this point. <laughs> oh no! Becky, you have to make it all the way- Oh. <sighs> I was wondering the context of that. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. <laughs> Thank you for aiding all of us in Kitana. Stories of you will live amongst us for many years. I help where I can, but thank you. 
a reward for all your help. Hey Jordan, am, am I muted or do you hear me? Just trying to figure out. If, okay, just figuring out if I need to type. <clears throat> um, do you recommend anything in terms of conquest battles? Because I haven't really favored either side in conquest battles, and I'm starting to get pretty late in the game at this point. <laughs> what are your thoughts on those? And what, like, what does it affect? Like, <laughs> does something happen if you turn every conquerable nation to Sp Sparta side or Athens side? Yeah, I've done, I've done some of those actually. So I've, I've already fought for both sides. But I haven't done a lot of conquest battles. Does it affect anything in the end game? Alright, that's what I was wondering. <clears throat> so I probably won't waste too much time on that then. I mean, I haven't been, so I guess I'll just continue as I've been then. I'll, I'll do uh, missions when they lead me there, I guess, but... Okay. Wait, can I fast travel? Am I just being dumb again? Ah, I probably could have sooner, but at this point it's not worth it. <coughs> okay. I mean, conquest battles are kind of fun. But they're pretty easy and repetitive, I guess. Alright, well, we only have the main story mission at the moment. This is the only quest we could do. I mean, aside from clearing bases and killing, like, some leaders or whatever in bases. <clears throat> but those are repeat quests, so... <laughs> I never I never clear bounties. <clears throat> I, uh, I like when mercenaries hunt me down. Hey, Monte Porcas, if I pronounce that right. <coughs> um, 17. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. I think that puts me one away from 60. There you are. I can take you in to see the kings when you're ready. Gotcha. Waiting won't make this easier. Then let's go. Your mother's already inside. Also, the answer to my my stream title is is no. We're not questing for a mom anymore. <coughs> Clearly. Squadrons to Vietir, then, as I said. Is that how they solve arguments? Sometimes. <laughs> uh oh, Montepurcus, run while you can before then Mia hunts you down. We've come with news. Just kidding, Let's just kidding. My kings, may I present Marini, D. 
descendant of Leonidas and her daughter Cassandra. How dare you show your face in Sparta? Oh, Marina is here. Cassandra helped me secure Corinthia, my king. She helped with the Elotes rebellion. They want what's best for Sparta. I beg you to listen. Let's hear what they have to say before we bloody the palace floor. <laughs> oh, you could try. Oh, that would be fun. Why are you here? But it's probably bad for everyone if you try to attack me. To reclaim our home. You exiled yourself. Your daughter killed an elder and ran. Not to mention the crooked nose she gave you. My family was betrayed, my king. Sparta was betrayed. We've come to expose these traitors. <laughs> you haven't cared for Sparta for many years. Oh, let's be confrontational. Your elders had both her children thrown off a cliff. They tore our family apart. Cassandra, not here. But the minute she thought Sparta was in danger, she came back. She brought us both back to help. How dare you accuse her of not caring? I've heard your grandfather couldn't control his temper either. Marini has made her intentions known. What are yours? My intentions are to hunt down those who betrayed my family and Sparta, and kill them. And who exactly do you think betrayed Sparta? That's what I'm here to find out. First, prove yourself loyal. Bring glory to Sparta, and redeem yourself in the eyes of the gods. Until then, neither you nor your mother have a right to your lands. Tell me what I must do, and it will be done. The Spartan army fights the Athenians in Viotia. Join the commanders there. Come back victorious, or do not return. Consider the battle won. Spoken with the confidence of a child who hasn't seen real. <laughs> How dare you? Find my commander <laughs> Mount Helico. You ignorant old Give man. This and tell him Assuming my experience. Not so fast. Two kings, two tasks. Heracles completed 12. Two shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> First Spartan thing you've said all day. The That's because you haven't been listening to me, dumbass. Elise, and our fighting champion requires an escort. You want me to be an escort? I want you to make sure the Spartans return with a wreath. <coughs> That's how she'll bring glory to Sparta? By winning an event in the Olympics. Not an event, my king. By making sure Sparta wins the entire Olympics. Perfect. You have your orders. We'll see you when your tasks are completed. If they're completed. I'll get them done. And you'll give us back our home. There's some Spartan left in you after all. Gracias. Show them out. Next! What you don't get is there's a little more than Spartan in me. You're just not discerning enough to see it clearly. But hey, you do you guys. That went well. Considering you still have your head on your shoulders, yes, I'd say it went very well. The kings were generous to give us a second chance. <laughs> and all I have to do is win. Ah, uh, it's cute that you think it is possible war. for me to lose is my head. Anything you need <clears throat> to know before setting off. Ah, silly brassy thus. I think I'm ready. And you? What will you do while I'm gone? I received a message just before we went in. For anyone to think I might lose my head. <laughs> that's quite the leap to think that's possible. I'm going to Arcadia. Alone. The fates are smiling on us. I was ordered there. We can travel together. That would be helpful. My thanks. I'll meet you both in Arcadia then. I don't know. I, I bang anyone as soon as they offer me the option. <laughs> the two things I do in this game are bang and fight. <clears throat> That's about it. Seems like we have side quests if multiple quests are accepted. I banged everyone I could. Oh, these are not side quests. Wow, we've just got a bunch of main story quests. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
This quest. <laughs> this quest, Jordan. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on, what the hell? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <clears throat> <laughs> I'll start with that one. <laughs> We're talking about the same quest, right? <laughs> I mean, I didn't know that was a real figure in history, actually. It's uh, <laughs> it was kind of a joke figure. <laughs> like, I've, I've only heard that name in jokes, literally. So I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. Do I look like I need training? I was sent by King Pafsanias to collect the Pankration champion. My apologies. I didn't realize you were here for testicles. Don't worry about it. I don't exactly look the part. If I may offer some advice before you get him, testicles can be difficult. A gift of oil is known to put a person on his good side. Oil? A muscle rub. He believes it imbues him with the power of Heracles. Look in the village of Githion. His favorite merchant is there. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. <laughs> oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messinia. Good luck. <laughs> Anything that will make it easy. I'll admit, it took me a little by surprise. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure the last time I heard this name was as a joke in high school or something. <laughs> For the record, folks, Jordan is a fully grown dad. <laughs> Just for, the, just for some context There's here. A special one that uh, Testicles uses. Ah, for Pankration fighters. That one has to be made <laughs> fresh by the master, and he's gone. I'm not leaving without it. You don't understand. I'm nearly free. You're a slave? Yes, and in a good position. Doing this would be stealing from him. Tell me, or I'll make you. Why would the Mystios care about a slave? I'll tell you, but not help you. Light a fire and gently heat oil of Athena. This will aid the infusion. Once the oil is warm, add myrrh. Thank you. I hope it's worth my freedom. Let's see if I can get this right. Oh, 
Oh man, I wasn't paying attention. Wait, did I need to put the oil first? Oh. Now, what oil did I need? Okay, well, okay. <clears throat> this one. The oil of Athena. I'll take some of this. Almost done. Now, to add... Just a bit of mud. Testicles is going to smell great. Oh, God. <laughs> I hope she appreciates this. <laughs> so, so I almost want to keep it for myself. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, this it's so wrong. It's so wrong. <laughs> Surely he got his name before Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh. He smelled so good. <laughs> Or he's going to. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what a session. Uh, this has got me laughing, for sure. Oh, God. All right. Wait, are we on the island here? That must be tested, please. <laughs> Let's make him smell good. <laughs> no one likes bad smelling testicles. <laughs> All right, I got. That's that's it. That's that's the only one I'm I'm doing. <laughs> hey, there he is. What do you want from the great champion testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. Champion! Because I test the glaze. Good. Let's set sail. Oh, no. Can't possibly go now. Training, see? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. Oh yeah, let's give him his oil. I have something for you. A certain oil. My oil? Oh, I could kiss you. No, you couldn't. Here's your oil. Take it. Oh, just like matter used to make. Will you rub it on? God, no. Get on the boat. You want me to rub oil on... Never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that joke. Well, we going? He better fucking win. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Man, speaking of which, <laughs> I actually do need a minute. I want to step out and smoke for a second. <laughs> so give me a second. <laughs> Mute this. I do need to go to the menu as soon as I, <laughs> as soon as the loading screen's done, so that uh, mercenary doesn't sneak up on me and kill me. But uh, yeah, I do need like ten minutes. It's a little early, but I started the stream early, so whatever. <laughs> I am interested in that, Mia. <clears throat> but until I get 
back. Let's see. For some reason, my uh, my playlist was erased for music, so I only have some of the songs on my playlist still. Alright, I will be back shortly. Until then, enjoy.
All right, let's resume. Wait a second. <clears throat> uh, what? Why did I go here? Is oh, is is it's because my ship was here, isn't it? <laughs> I'm updating the stream title. <laughs> By the way, today is my dog's ninth birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Alaska! Who is nine? Thanks, Jordan. <laughs> Good for you. You said that as I was saying it, despite the delay, which means you remembered her name. So good for you. I mean, I, t I guess I talked about her enough when we were doing D and D, so shouldn't be that surprising, I suppose. <laughs> sent a picture like, uh, I don't know. I start sending a picture every session after a little while. Wait, is this... Is this all Kibiatis? No! 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 I hate this guy! No! <laughs> I'm so I am surprised you're wearing clothes. I agree, Cassandra. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm sure it is. Yes. <sighs> I always do, even though I hate him, Jordan. This this is very much... Uh, <laughs> this is very much, like, hate fucking. I do it, but I'm not happy about it. I'm the champion! Or gonna be... Sparta! <laughs> oh, a pity your brain isn't as <laughs> as your muscles. <laughs> wow, that's quite that's quite the contrast there between those two dudes. I need to be oiled before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. I likes to be oiled. <laughs> That's obvious. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jordan, I'm starting to see what you're... Gives us a... Surely. Oh my goodness! Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I I, oh my goodness, I think I've laughed more in this session alone than in the previous 64 sessions combined. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? The event doesn't start just yet. We could look at the first. Olympia is quite extraordinary. 
Oh man. Oh, that's for. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. No, yeah, I, I guess you're right, Mia. There, there have been some sessions where I've laughed for sure, but. Oh my goodness. Wow. Tonight is something else. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, at, at the very least, this session could take <laughs> take the title for uh, the session with the most laughter for me, regardless of anything else. <laughs> Man, <laughs> you weren't kidding, Jordan. That was hilarious. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, we have hey, we have more uh, Lost Tales of Greece, which I was calling character quest, but then I noticed this was called character. So, hey, these are new. These weren't here before. Herodotus. Okay. He's the only one in. Uh, on, oh, on the other. Oh, hey. Hey, yes. Wait, you're Herodotus. What's wrong? My parents. Herodotus, I'm so sorry. I thought I'd be able to see them again. To show them my life's work. But now... I'm sorry to ask this of you, but could you take me to Samos? I need to pay my respects. Ah, uh, poor dude. Of course, my friend. Thank you. I'm not sure <coughs> I can make this trip alone. No worries, buddy. I got you. Well, <clears throat> the tale of Tessicles was short-lived. It was intense. Uh, I would argue he was a bit of a minute man. <laughs> and his storyline came to a climax really quickly. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'm done. Good night, folks. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yes. Yes. It says something went wrong. We couldn't find the clip. <laughs> Interestingly, though, on my on the stream on my laptop, it does not say that in the chat. I don't know why it says that on the stream. <clears throat> well, even on my streaming app, it doesn't say that. So I assume it worked. I don't know why it said differently on the stream. But I'll have to leave it to someone else to test the clip. But I assume it works. <laughs> but I appreciate that. <laughs> this is it. How does it feel being back? It feels like uh, words escape me. That's a first. To my eyes, it's home. The smells and sounds are familiar. But it's been so long. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, come on, old man. You've done more difficult things. Challenges we overcome always seem easier when they're behind us. What would you do? Hold my head high. Walk with purpose. Push those feelings of doubt aside. You're right. I suppose we should head to my family home first. Lead the way.
Any chance this guy leaves my ship? Because, uh... Half the time I'm trying to, like, pilot... Well, sell the ship, I end up talking with this dude. Living near the docks was so exciting as a child. How so? There was always a new ship to see. New people to watch. From the sailors, often a new word to learn. <laughs> Most of which got me in trouble. I'm sure your mother remembered those days. I know, from... I do. So many faces I don't recognize. You've been gone a long time. Even so, I was hoping there'd be someone I know. Someone who'd remind me of my life before I left. You've only just arrived. It'll be okay. Here we are. This is what I called home. For most of my childhood. Most? I came to Samos at a young age, but I was born in Aligarnassos. Those are days I'd rather not remember. Mm. It doesn't look like it's changed much in my absence. A tablet? Looks like some old writing. The ships never stay for long. Samos is a place people come for a visit, but not to live. Is there something about this place I don't yet see? One of my first writings. I was always restless here. Always wanting to learn more about the world beyond, and the world that was. One of your toys? It was my brother's. I often hid it when he wouldn't let me play with it. This pottery looks special. My father always felt art was a great outlet when things seemed overwhelming. <coughs> Not much, Mia. Herodotus, this guy who's going up the stairs. Apparently his parents passed away, so we're, we're kind of helping him. I don't know. Visit and oh, figure stuff out. I can't believe you've come skulking back. After all this time, I should go. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> you have some nerve, little brother. You stroll back into this house when you didn't even return for the funeral. I regret ever sending you that letter. Stop it! This isn't helping. We came to Samos as soon as we could after receiving your letter. You must have swam here then. It's been five moons since I sent that. And who are you exactly? How does any of this help <laughs> you? I'm someone you don't want to upset. There's no need to be angry at her. She's a good friend of mine. She brought me here. I have every right to be angry, brother. You abandoned your family to pursue your dreams. I couldn't stay here. I needed to leave. You could have taken me with you. I have things to attend to. One of us still cares about Samos. At least tell me where they died. We marked a spot on the nearby cliffs. Pay your respects and then leave. There is nothing for you here now. He's not like you at all. He means well. He's been here this whole time grieving and thinking I didn't care. This isn't your fault. Don't let him make you feel guilty. It's a bit late for that. I know this wasn't the welcome you were expecting. But perhaps it was the one I deserved. For now, I only want to see where they died. I owe that to them. I'll come with you. I'd like that. If you're ready, we should go. Waiting to face reality will do me no good. Hi. 
I used to know this island as well as my own home. Seems like a nice place to grow up. It was. I spent a lot of time in Olma, or with Theodorus and Mishra. My parents were intentional. I'm a killer. But it wasn't the life for you. Miss the Indy with you guys. I, I know I could be spending. I talked to Michaela about potentially running my own campaign, but I've been leaning into streaming instead. But on the other hand, it's probably not bad to let Dave and Rachel uh, get used to having a kid for a little while before we start anything. So. I thought I'd write about their history on. I mean, also getting used to living on their own in a <laughs> in a new house. There's a lot of new stuff for them right now. <laughs> so, I'm sure they're still getting used to stuff. Should never have left. There's no point thinking about things you should have done. That doesn't help. But you're not a fighter, Irovatos. You couldn't have stopped this. Perhaps you're right. I want you to remember that while we're on Samos. I'll try. I just wish I could have seen them once more. If there's anything you'd like to say about your parents, you should. I always feel more comfortable writing. Oh, cool. Yeah, I mean, you guys should do that if you're up for that. Because <laughs> I'm not ready to start my own yet. They meant everything to me. They always encouraged me. I knew that I'm at a weird crossroads where I have to decide how much streaming I want to do versus... Because streaming is time consuming. And I'm, I'm an affiliate now, so I can earn money here. <laughs> so I don't know. Sorry, I'm not I sure. I don't have a lot of subscribers, but... There was so much I, wanted to tell you. I do like D&D &D too, though, but it takes time too. Mother, it's just a matter of balancing time. People I knew. You pushed for truth, no matter the obstacle. Father, your compassion is something I won't soon forget. You taught me it was okay to feel for myself and for others. Your names and deeds won't be forgotten. I'm, I would be a little nervous, but I would have some confidence, because I, I did run an online RPG, we should head back. <laughs> which is, I guess, D&D-ish, years ago. Ran a couple. One was one actually made it to the end of the entire campaign that I planned for, and it was like a couple years long, at least two or three years long. I had like a failed one before that, but it's similar enough to D and D. It was just more text based. So I I have some confidence. I would just I would need to. I don't know, it's just... I, I would need a few sessions to kind of get used to it, but I think I could manage it. Stay close! Why do I have a feeling they don't belong here? I've never heard of them being on Samus. Something is going on. Maybe Theodorus would know. Followers of Ares here. I don't yeah. understand. The question is whether they came on their own or someone sent them. Ah, you're back. I hoped you'd set sail already. Now isn't the time. We were just attacked. God's curse these warring Greeks. 
Was it the Athenians or the Spartans this time? Neither. It was a group called the Followers of Eris. Whoever it was, thank the gods you're okay. Something is happening here on Samos. We need answers. She's right. If the Followers of Ares are here, there's a reason for it. Then it's another reason for you to go. We'll handle whatever is happening here. This is my home too. I'm not leaving until I get to the bottom of this. If it's not safe, you shouldn't stay. He's plenty safe with me. Of course. Come, mister. If this fool won't heed our warnings, it's not our concern. They weren't much help. Something doesn't add up. How could Theodorus and Mister both know nothing? I think they were keeping something from us. But why? That's what we need to find out. What's next? If they're somewhere on this island, they'd stay away from the city. There was a cave I used to play in as a child. It may be worth looking into. Let's start there. Alright, sounds good, Jordan. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. As always. Oh no, alright. Sorry, Becky. Killing everyone inside. Yes, that. So this is where they've been hiding. You were right to suggest we look here. But they've been dealt with. We still need to find out what they were doing here in the first place. Let's look around. 
Oh, I guess I should update the stream info because we're not. <laughs> Tuscalis is dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just so we're not too misleading on the title. That was really funny while it lasted, though. Man. <laughs> I'm glad Jordan was here for that. That was pretty funny. They were attacking from either side. I didn't take the followers of Ares to be lovers of poetry. They're not. This work, it's awfully close to the style Theodorus uses. Why would his writings be here? I didn't take them for the heirloom type. How did they? That's our family's issue. They must have stolen it. There's no way they could have found that on their own. It was given to them. Ah. There's a list of names here. I recognize these names. They're all quite influential on Samos. But Missos is missing. These coins aren't like any I've seen before. I have. They're Persian. I'm afraid to even say what I think is going on here. This island and these people are yours. Tell me what you're thinking. Persia wants to take control of Samos. It'd be a good staging ground for something greater. You're right. I only wish that was all there is to worry about. What is it? If Persia is involved, they couldn't have done this alone. They would have needed someone here to help them. Someone with ties to the Empire. And influence on Samos, yes. Other than myself, there are only two others who could be responsible for what's going to happen and for what already has. Herodotus. <sighs> With everything we've found, everything you've seen and heard, please, just tell me which of them it is. A what? 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 It's Mistor. He brought the followers of Ares here to help Persia. I was afraid you'd say that. But I know you must be right. What do you want to do now? I need to talk to Theodorus. I don't understand. I why think that's right. Rahmi can be a powerful motivator. As can the promise of power. But he already had both of those. I know you want to understand it all. But we don't always get the answers we seek. It's a dead end, isn't it? I should have fast traveled to the dock.
Why have you not left already? That's enough. Put away your disdain for me for one moment and listen. We found where the followers of Ares were hiding. And we know who they're working for. And who is that? Mistor. He's in league with the Persians to take over Samos. That can't be. We aim to free Samos from control of this war, but we never spoke of giving it to the Persians. Then he kept that part from you. I... I'll find out on my own. Theodoros! I know you care deeply for your brother, but this isn't finished. We tasked ourselves with protecting Samos, and it's not yet safe. We need to go after him. Where to? To find Mistur, and Theodorus too. I guess Mistur knows we're on to him. Where is Theodorus? Oh! Get them! Oh! I need to go to the restroom, so I'll be right back. In case uh, <clears throat> it loads and I st I'm not moving, uh, it won't be long. Be right back. On the way back. Slowly but surely.
should be safe now. Where is Mistor? After he ordered me locked up, he left. Seemed impatient. Ah, oh, Theodorus. It seems you were right. I thought Mistor and I wanted the same thing. But he was just using me. It hurts he did this. I know. I've treated you terribly. You just remind me of everything I didn't get to do. And of the past. But you didn't deserve it. Samos should thank the gods they have someone like you fighting for them. They'll know of all you did here. We may have lost one brother today, but we found each other again. You know what needs to be done now, right? Unfortunately, I do. You can stay behind if you want. I can do it myself. No. I need to see him. I need to know why he did this. You got me. How could you do this? After everything our family did for you. They took you in, and you had them killed. That was an unfortunate accident. I promise you, I weep for their deaths every day. I can't trust anything you say. It doesn't matter now. The followers of Ares working for you are dead. Everyone will know what you did here. I'll make sure of it. Oh, I hope you do. I've always wanted my name to be remembered. However, you may not want to start writing just yet. What do you mean? The ships are already on their way. Let him go. We need to stop the ships. I'll meet you there.
Well, wait here, Commander! Samos is safe. What about Mistor? After his failure, he won't get a second chance. Plus, there's no way he'd stay on Samos now. Theodorus has changed. He is the Theodorus I remembered. He was always willing to admit fault. It's a trait too few people share. Then you believe things will be okay? Even if you leave Samos again? Of course. Theodorus has work to do here. And he understands mine is elsewhere. Good. Thank you for everything, Cassandra. Without you, I couldn't have gotten through this. Huh. Choices. I'll give you this. Ah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess we'll do that first. <laughs> Kara Artichoke. Oh my goodness. Side quests. Huh. I think that's where the game wants me to go next. Huh. Interestingly. Why else would there be so many side quests around it? Okay. I changed my mind. I'll go here first. Okay. By the way, I th uh, <clears throat> for whoever's watching, I think I'm only playing this game tonight. 
I think I'm skipping Lunar 2 tonight. Me will be happy about that. <laughs> and I may quit early, so we'll see. Like, compared to when I usually end the stream, that is. So maybe an hour or two. I said I'm planning to play only this game tonight, which will probably make you happy. Probably be playing for another hour or two. And then I'll probably quit um, a little earlier than I usually end the stream after that. I don't think I'm going to play anything else tonight. I'm looking for... You! Stentor? Malakas! I'm here to help, you idiot! Not after Megaris! Not after what you did! King Archidamos of Sparta sent me to aid you in securing the region. This is how much he trusts me. He put his faith in a fucking mercenary! The gods are punishing me with your presence. If I was your punishment, you'd already be dead. Why have the king sent you? King Archidamo sent me to conquer the Viotians, since you clearly can't. And yet he sent me a single traitorous mercenary. You should thank the gods that I've come to help you. The only reason you're still alive is that writ you carry. You're not an ally, just a weapon. Then put me to work. You're not up to the challenge. Try me. There are four Viodian champions fighting for the Athenians. Aristeos, Yanira, Nesea, and Veragon. You think you can kill them? I'd like to see you try. I told you we could work this out. All right, then. I'll find these champions and put an end to them. I doubt it will be as easy as you think. But I'm relieved to see you can follow orders. The sooner I get this done, the sooner we take Viotia for Sparta. Yeah, how are you supposed to find these guys? Ah, uh, I guess these quests. Yep.
Looks like I missed a fight. This cave looks like it might lead inside the walls. Aristeos found you. Nice and clean. <coughs> uh, my main story progression again the other night. Um, I think it was around seventy percent completion. Definitely getting close. We're probably in the last quarter of this game. I mean, for sure last quarter overall, but last quarter of the main story missions, I guess.
probably only have... I'm not... I wonder if I'll make it to part 70 in this game. I guess it depends how many side quests pop up. Well, no. I shouldn't say that. I wonder if I'll make it to part 70 before I finish the main story. Because there is extra content after the main story. So I'm definitely going to go beyond part 70, probably. <laughs> So we won't, we won't be done quite yet. You come to steal from me too, Miss Dios? Is that how you greet all your customers? I'm sorry. The soldiers have taken everything from me. Even my beloved Spiro. Soldiers take what they want. Who is Spiro? Only the best horse I ever owned. But you could always get another horse. These things cost drachmi, you know. Drachmi you don't have, by the sound of it. I need him back to cart my shipments. Once Dracon finds out I can't get him his oil, I'm as good as dead. Dracon? The Viotian champion? He's my biggest customer. I'm trying to hunt him down. Save me from Dracon's wrath. Find my Spiro, please. If you need him so badly, I'll find your Spiro. Be quick, please. I can only imagine what those thieves are doing to him. Where did they take him? They must have him at the military camp, east of Snakehead Rock. It's the only outpost nearby. Looks like I have a horse to find. You're a fool, Milani boss. A fool! Did you lose your Pankration match? Worse. I lost my one true love. My Dracon has found someone else. I just know it. He avoids me. And when we're together, he's always distracted. I admit, it doesn't sound good. Even you think I've been replaced. But I can't let him go. He's my golden demigod. Then you must have a plan. I'm going to make a potion. It's a recipe that guarantees eternal love. That's an honest way to save a relationship. It's simple. I'll borrow his precious armor for a few days, cut the inside, and let the potion seep through his skin straight to his heart. So, Dracon will be left without his armor. Aren't you worried he'll be vulnerable? Oh, he's the strongest, most chiseled man in Thebes. They'll be fine without it. Good to know. My problem is the last ingredient. I need to buy the rarest heaven Viotia from my herbalist. But she hasn't come to Thebes in a while. I can find her for you. Huh. I must believe in love after all. Thank you. Thank you. Where will I find this herbalist? She lives on a farm west of the city, near the tomb of many kefs. I'll go find that herb for you. Oh, more side quests. Noise, 
You ride! This looks like the place. They're gone. You can come out now. Thank you, Mirsios. If you hadn't intervened, we'd surely be dead. They must have really wanted something from you. The farm. It's one of the few untouched by the war. Herbs aren't free, you know. They'd uproot them and sell them. Speaking of herbs, that's why I'm here. I need to buy one for a man named Melaniposh. Says he knows you. That troublemaker still wants to make the love potion. Well, he'll have it his way. I can sell you the herb he needs. I think exchanging herbs for your life is a fair trade. While I'm thankful for your help, I didn't ask for it. I can't be giving away herbs for free in such trying times. Fine. Here. Tell Melanipos to let it really soak in. <laughs> All right, I'm interested to see how this will turn out. I, uh, I'm surprised I couldn't intimidate her and uh, get it for free. Only because the game doesn't let me here. Otherwise, you know I would. <laughs> Further left. There, your herb. It better be worth all the trouble. Yes, yes, Dracon is mine, till the end of time. Maybe I'll take him for a moonlit walk at the site of Iphigenia's sacrifice. He won't have to go far. You know I'm about to kill this guy, right? 
Um, let's, you shouldn't celebrate too much. And his armor? It waits patiently for the potion in my house. Good. Be sure you take your time with it. For the potion to work best. Okay. Hmm. I don't know, you know what, Mia, since you're my only active person in chat right now. Um, I don't know, I'm thinking about just quitting right now, actually. Hmm. I mean, I could do more of these quests, but... Thinking about it. Killed any cultists in a little while. Ooh, Olympic champion. I'm getting close to this one then. It's only three out of five on this one. Alright, yeah, you, you know what? Um, I think I will call it for tonight. So, it's been a pretty good session, two and a half hours or so. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna call it here and just maybe watch some stuff and chill before I sleep for a change instead of uh, instead of streaming until I'm like asleep. <laughs> So, yeah, thanks for hanging out, Mia. And Jordan, even though you're not here anymore. And thanks to my silent viewers, too. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Before you end... Let's see, before you leave, let me see, uh... I'm gonna check my percentage again. I have to do that after I end the game, though. Well, I don't know if I have to, but... Well... Let's see, Odyssey... Main progression, okay. 76%. Yes, we are officially in the last quarter of the main story. Okay. More than three quarters done. So. Alright, good stuff. Thanks again, Mia. Have a good night, YouTube.